An investigation underway into a deadly collision between two garbage trucks early this morning it happened in Butler County. KDK's Bryant Reed was there. A crash reconstruction team has retraced the tire tracks of two garbage trucks that ran into each other and veered off of the road. We're getting a closer look at one of them right now. First responders pulled one driver from the wreckage, but he didn't survive. Now, it's an unusual crash that also left concerns about the stability of a building. Around 430, first responders got an unfamiliar call. It's not very frequent here. We're used to small vehicle crashes. That's usually what we run into. We don't see a lot of big truck accidents here. Tim Llewellyn, fire chief of the Adams Area Fire District, says two garbage trucks collided on Mars Valencia Road in Adams Township. One ended up in a driveway, the other crashing head on into a building. But he says he can't figure out just how it happened. I've been trying to figure that out the whole entire time I've been standing here, and unfortunately I can't figure it out because the way they're parked, I, I don't know. Llewellyn says they had to come up with a plan to get both the driver and the truck out without further damage. We formulated a rescue plan. Uh, we had plans A, B, and C. Plan A was made to pull the vehicle out of the structure. That was abandoned because plan B started to happen faster. KDKA crews were there as first responders tried to save the driver who was badly hurt. He was placed in an ambulance and rushed to a nearby hospital, but he later died. As state police began reconstructing the crash scene, you can also see crews trying to cut pieces of the vacant building in order for the garbage truck to be towed from the rubble. The damage is pretty extensive on this front side corner. Uh, it is limited to this front corner of the building. Um, there is severe structural damage of the first floor, ground level from the roadway and the attic space. The uh, basement level seems to be relatively intact, although the structural members are in question there. Right now, no word on the condition of the driver of the second vehicle. Now, we are working to learn more details, and of course, as soon as we figure them out, we'll make sure to bring them to you both on air and online with the latest. In Adams Township, I'm Brian Reed, KDK News.